zealous, ambitious, brave, and bold. Led by President M.J. Charmani, the executive committee that took office in June 2012 has since provided additional opportunities for members' growth, secured new partnerships, and established the Indo-U.S. Chamber of Northeast Florida in groundbreaking markets. The team has attained its overall goal of regional economic development and has fulfilled its three main objectives of continued support to professional and business growth of the members, programs to grow trade and commerce in Northeast Florida, and developing an effective engagement model. Pursuing an idea of building bridges of economy and looking for newer resources, the Indo-U.S. Chamber has leveraged the emerging markets in India and neighboring countries for the benefit of our local businesses. The Indo-U.S. Chamber signed a Memorandum of Understanding to promote bilateral trade and commerce with five major entities in India. The Indo-U.S. Chamber shared the benefits of the MOU with local businesses and leaders at its International Business Summit in August 2012. Fighter Energy, Lighthouse Services, Sally Corporation, and iPrep Smart are the organizations exploring markets in India, Thailand, Singapore, and Malaysia. Florida's biotechnology industry has grown by 60% over the past five years, making it one of the fastest growing segments of the state's economy. Seizing the opportunity to develop the workforce needed to make Northeast Florida a leader in the biotech and biomed industries, the Indo-U.S. Chamber has worked with the Office of Public-Private Partnerships in the city of Jacksonville to explore the possibility of leveraging the biotechnology finishing schools as new programs in local universities. We are thrilled about the possibilities that this collaboration will bring to Northeast Florida. We know that uh, we're going to continue to need very specialized biomedical research talent and the finishing schools in India really present us with that opportunity. One of my favorite events was when the Indo-US was able to bring the former president of India, Dr. Kalam, to Jacksonville. This was a huge event. We had almost 500 people attend and later on Dr. Kalam called us back to tell us that this was his very best event. He really appreciated that he was able to sit with some of Jacksonville's leaders. This was another historic moment for Northeast Florida, as the visit of Dr. Kalam was the first time any sitting or past president of India had visited Jacksonville. A spectacular event at the University of North Florida attracted 450 guests and included a Navy Honor Guard for the president and a performance by the Navy's band. In addition to Dr. Kalam, the Indo-U.S. Chamber also hosted in the past year Dr. William C. Miller, one of the top 30 thought leaders in the world. He engaged the audience in an interactive session on enabling innovation. I'm thrilled and proud that uh, we have been able to bring such world-renowned leaders to Jacksonville. In another new partnership formed this year, the Indo-U.S. Chamber started to work with the Jacksonville Film Fest to bring the Indian filmmakers to Jacksonville. The Chamber jointly hosted a first annual Indo-U.S. series with Jacksonville Film Fest, which was highlighted by its closing ceremony, Global Whimsy, most recently in an event benefiting Jacksonville's stature as one of the top 10 cities for the technology services in the U.S., the Indo-U.S. Chamber hosted its annual CIO Summit in April 2013 with an IT job fair. The theme was Innovate, Collaborate and Transform. CIOs from local organizations JEA, CSX and JTA shared their experience and knowledge inspiring the audience. It's been an eventful year for the Indo-U.S. Chamber and the impact of the programs introduced will span many years. I actually am honored to be a president-elect for the next year and I look forward to working closely with the companies and with the organizations to make a difference in our local community here. Providing a strong foundation for the Chamber to help businesses stay local and go global. New partnerships created for mutual benefits will have far-reaching effects on the economy of Northeast Florida. Indo-US Chamber has been busy this year helping local business. That hard work has paid off. Northeast Florida is now at the top of the list in a Florida Small Business Survey. Above all, we have not forgotten about you. This year, we have introduced membership cards with exclusive benefits. Please make sure to keep that in your wallet. 
let's continue our efforts to take Northeast Florida to the next level. I strongly believe together the future is ours. Thank you and God bless.